Good morning, folks. We're going to hit space weather, a climate report, a new study on solar forcing, and we had a special video last night. We hope you caught it. Let's start with our star. And we find the last 24 hours had a few items of note. A filament lifted away on the north, and an M-class solar flare happened this morning at the southern active region. Neither of those events was huge, but without SOHO updated properly, we can't tell if CMEs were released at Earth. As the solar wind from the coronal hole wanes, we should be watching later this week for CME impact from one or both of those events. And we should continue keeping an eye on the sunspots as they have released multiple flares in the last couple days. We'll have eyes on it. The March U.S. climate report is out and we were well below average. While the southeast was warm, the northwest was cold and as many of you know, we can see bottom right the precipitation map, how much rain and snow came to the west. Broke many records in the process. Good study here on polar mesospheric cloud forcing by the sun. The recurring features are seen modulating the polar atmospheric temperature and the cloud levels in the region. Yet another study confirming the impact of space weather on clouds, which of course help regulate temperature and precipitation themselves. If you didn't catch last night's video on the magnetic pole shift, it was a good summary of what's happening and why the only remaining denial of risk has been thoroughly debunked. If you missed it, click the link below or click our name to go to our channel homepage and find the video there. We greatly appreciate your support. Lots of other links below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.